Hey guys! So today I'm trying these uh, artichoke burgers from Made with Foodies Passion, I guess is the brand. Uh, they had three different kinds. I think this was at Kroger, I can't remember now. Um, the original recipe, the French herb, and the tandoori spice. So uh, they have three different ways on here that you can prepare them, microwave, oven, and stovetop. And started with the microwave because it just says cook f heat for one minute, the microwave, awesome. Uh, but it came out like really soft, so use the stovetop instead, and still came out like really soft. Like I can't even pick this up, it's just going to break apart. So um, that's not really a good sign to start with. Um, yeah, so here's the original here, that's the tandoori in the French, so I guess I'll start with the original. Um, that's weird. I'm going to try just the patty because I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly what I'm tasting. Ooh. Oh, what? It was better with the bread because <laughs> the bread covered up the flavor a little bit. I guess that's artichoke. I've, I didn't know these were, had artichoke in them. I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you artichoke. The texture is really weird. It's almost like a, a crab cake texture. It's not like a thick, dense burger kind of thing at all. It's more of like a ricey kind of thing, which makes sense because the predominant ingredient in all of these is cooked brown rice. Um, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, it's kind of like a crab cake texture. It's, it's really weird. And the taste, I can't even... Uh, it's really, really bland and then weird. <laughs> Something really weird, I guess, is the artichoke. I really have no idea, but it's incredibly bland um, and just weird. <laughs> that's, that's like probably one of the worst vegan burgers uh, I've ever tasted. Honestly, that's really gross. Mm. That's cool. So it might be the cashew is the taste because that's the second ingredient, uh, I think, in all of these too. Yeah, so it's cooked brown rice followed by cashew nuts. So I think the taste is probably cashews. It's just rice and cashews, basically. It's not good. Of all the ingredients to base a vegan burger on, I don't know why you would choose those two. It's not tasty. Okay, so I uh, had some water. Let's try, I guess, this one, the French herb one. Yeah, that one really tastes like cashews. No, it's so weird. It's better because at least there's some kind of flavor um, from the herbs. Maybe a tiny bit better. <laughs> it's still pretty gross. And again, the texture is just this weird, ricey, weird texture. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, final one, the tandoori spice, which I can smell that. And it does smell good. It smells like Indian food. Yeah, it smells pretty good, so... That one's definitely the best of the three. It actually tastes more um, like Mexican food than Indian food. Um, I have some beans and rice in the fridge flavored with like chili powder and stuff. It actually tastes really similar to that, so that's a little weird. Oh, you can see how soft it is. It just completely falls apart. Still not good. Still the cashew thing. Um, a little better because there's more f flavor of something, but it's still really bland. Um, there's like no salt. There's not enough salt in these things. And the texture, I mean, it just like completely falls apart. Even worse, like it, like I've said, these are um, rice and cashew based. Typically when you're looking at like a vegan burger, you want something satisfying and hearty and like higher in protein. Um, so something maybe lentil based or some kind of bean based or whatever, you know, mock vegan meat or something. Um, but these are brown rice and cashew nuts. So unsurprisingly, one burger is 230 calories and only six grams of protein. So not only are these really gross, but they're not even like hearty at all. Um, yeah, I don't really understand why these exist. I don't understand why they're on the market. I don't understand anyone tasting these and thinking these are good and suitable for stores. They're really awful. So. Thanks for watching. That's all I really have to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to subscribe, of course, subscribe. 
And uh, if you want to support me, you can do so at unnatural, no, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan or right here on YouTube on uh, the channel page. Okay, I'm gonna go eat some good food. Uh, I mean, that's the problem. My resolution is not to waste food. So now I have to eat this stuff and this really sucks, but okay. Thanks for watching. I'll have a new video soon. Like I constantly, you know, get critiqued or, you know, people say I'm, I'm not really vegan. I'm anti-vegan and I'm working to destroy veganism from the inside. I think the people who make these are, are working to destroy veganism from the inside. Like the easiest thing to veganize burgers, burgers and tacos. It's been done so many times and so well. Um, I like why why do these exist? I don't understand. Like how did these get to market? How did so many people had to taste these and then they were like, yeah, this is this is I don't I'm just baffled by this. And the amount of protein, you know, you you buy a burger. <laughs>